Are you sentimental about the records that you have and what you've achieved if Sebastian or whoever it is down the line breaks them? How do you think you'll feel? First of all, I would be pretty happy for Sebastian achieving this one because a friend of mine achieving it, it stays in kind or in brackets in the family. Um, and I always thought records are there to be broken. I mean, uh, honestly, I didn't have statistics in my mind when I was racing. It was always a consequence. It was a nice consequence. I enjoyed that afterwards, but uh, it wasn't the reason I was racing for. Um, there's no reason why the limits I set uh, uh, will be will be different at one point because the whole environment changes. I mean, in the past we had 16 races, now we have 20 races, mm -hmm. so it's more easy to win more races in a season. Uh, there's various uh, uh, statistics that run around uh, and uh, people arrive a lot younger in these days in Formula One, so they have a longer time they can probably spend in Formula One. Um, there's all all sorts of things that, that do change. Uh, so it was different, uh, obviously, with Fangio and myself, because uh, you cannot compare his five title uh, uh, to, to the seven that I have achieved. And therefore, I always rig uh, always made it clear that, that uh, I think those achievements that Juan Manuel uh, Fangio was able to achieve uh, in his time, I think they are so unique, so special. Because if you look at the cars, and I have been occasionally sitting in those cars, I mean, I have the greatest respect on earth uh, uh, for what those guys uh, were doing at the time. Do you think that um, Sebastian is, is almost in your seat now in terms of how the German public um, and media treat him? He is obviously doing his own theme, and uh, he does it with his own character. And therefore, um, I don't think there's ever going to be a, a full comparison uh, possible, but it's probably one that is very close.